Fire Department says it had a record-breaking year in 2022, responding to more than 12,000 calls for service. Leaders say the sudden jump in call volume was much higher than anticipated. Brogan Maxwell joins us now live in the studio to break this down for us. So, Brogan, what can this be attributed to? Yeah, well, Tom and Caitlin, speaking with RFD today, I was told point blank that this dramatic increase in call volume still remains unknown for why this is the case. But the true takeaway, RFD does everything they can to maintain a standard of high quality emergency services. In the Med City, RFD saw more than a thousand more calls in 2022 compared to 2021. Captain Caleb Finey says that this was a much bigger leap than what was projected for the year. With this sudden increase, it's something the department is monitoring closely and trying to understand why this is happening. Uh, we don't know, but the, to answer that, uh, that's like something that we're looking very closely at so that we can continue to, to serve the public into the future, um, knowing that our call volume uh, may increase uh, erratically like that. One challenge all fire stations around the nation face is recruitment, but it's still an area RFD is aiming to solve proactively. In Rochester specifically, we don't have what I would call a problem with recruitment. Um, but it's trending down and, and we're all kind of in this together to try and figure out, you know, how do we increase our efforts and increase uh, the popularity and interest in the fire service. With historic levels of call volume, Captain Finey says good emergency services still start with solid and comprehensive training. Continued protocols, it's, uh, it's our medical direction being involved in everything that we do because that's really what dictates how we respond to these calls and that's why we have the success rates that we do. Regardless of the numbers, Captain Finey emphasizes the importance of maintaining a high standard of services. That is our key, that's our priority and that's what we're going to continue to look to as we move into the future. We're always going to be here. Uh, we just need to figure out how to best do that. You can still count on RFD. Of course, finding a way to drive on out and help. Alarm goes off, we get on the truck and we go out and do our job. Uh, and that's what all of us signed up to do and that's what we love doing. Now, speaking with Captain Finey, he was assuring me that RFD is always available to respond to emergencies. To date, he says they have never not responded to an emergency they were called to. Adding, RFD is there to serve the public. Live in the studio, Brogan Maxwell, KTTC News. All right, thanks, Brogan.